United Aliens, um, United Aliens is a foundation set up to support different causes um, by generating incredible artistic content. So uh, uh, Roberto is a sort of a, a true savant, um, a, 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 a real prodigy and genius at design who has worked with all of the top designers in the world. And he's friends with some of the world's most loved artists and has a, a great capacity to, to bring people into his sort of circus of creativity. And, and he feels that while uh, um, people with such gifts are able to create such valuable um, pieces of art or of clothing, uh, of theater and uh, 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 of creativity that, that the world, uh, whole industries are set up around. Um, uh, wh why don't we direct uh, um, the, the proceeds, the money that can be made therefrom to uh, uh, good causes, to charities. And uh, so that's why we started working with Zero Suicide Alliance because in our community, there's a real problem of uh, uh, with mental health and, and uh, uh, there's been an epidemic of suicide. And so we thought, great, this is really topical. Let's uh, talk about it and, and face it head on. So that's uh, one example of what we're trying to do. But the Aliens, uh, United Aliens has uh, a foundation based in Ecuador where they're working with uh, people living in the most simple way and teaching them uh, 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 sewing, which the World Bank says is one of the greatest ways to lift people out of poverty uh, and other, other skills. Um, so they asked me to come along and uh, help connect these million dollar dresses and their campaigns uh, to relevant causes. Uh, uh, and that's what I'm here trying to do is structure the whole thing and uh, uh, really keep it connected um, to causes and things like that. So I didn't really choose it. It's come as a, as a result of complete necessity. So uh, I was in uh, uh, Los Angeles working on a pitch for James Cameron who made um, uh, Avatar the film, which was at the time the highest grossing film of all time, all about living sustainably on a planet, using a metaphor of an alien race who's invaded by the humans trying to steal their resources. And we thought if we did a, an educational facility, Navi Camp, we called it, where you learn to live like these uh, uh, in a sustainable way, which is based on the metaphor of our ancient kind of our ancestral uh, uh, origins, these tribal ways that live in honor for life, that w we could popularize sustainability and bring it to a whole new demographic. Uh, Roberto was so supportive, gave us a mansion in Bel Air and was like, great, operate out of here and, and you know, really helped support us back in the beginning. And, and, and seven years later, I'm still working on, uh, on Green Camp with our, uh, our other foundation and um, the Foundation for Common Good and World Preservation Foundations. It's a little ecosystem of people trying to do good stuff, create regenerative investment opportunities. And uh, I'm involved with lots of geniuses and, and creatives and artists and help manage them. And uh, uh, because really, at the end of the day, it's that care, that real care for what you're doing and care for people that makes things wonderful and successful. And, and, and Roberto is one of the people who I think gets that and, and I can trust him and uh, uh, rely on him and talk to him and, and progress ideas forwards. And we really need this. It's really a necessity. I don't have other people who I can talk to like that. And, and as, as the Zero Suicide thinks, it's like, talk to me. And um, uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's there to talk to and to develop these ideas with. And not a lot of people believe it's possible to be so <laughs> idealistic, but uh, we believe it's, it's necessary in order for us to, to not only survive, but thrive. And um, uh, so that's why I'm working with them, is out of sheer necessity for survival. And, um, uh, and also because they're my very best friends and I love them. <laughs> uh, it's really important, man. Um, a lot of the problems I have in my life is because people will not communicate. And it has been the reason that so much, so many of the problems I have is because people are unable to. And I think we all have so many problems. It's really difficult to be there for someone else with all of their problems, adding stress. But, I, you know, if we're unable to be there for other people with their problems, I mean, there's, there's, there's boundaries, healthy boundaries that we need to have. But our goal is hopefully to be able to cultivate ourselves into a position where we're able to be there for ourselves, give ourselves that self-love so that we can be there for other people. And if we're unable to be there for our friends and family, then really our responsibility is to be able to, to, to be there for ourselves and, and give ourselves enough love so 
we, we feel stable enough to be able to offer an ear and a shoulder for other people. So for, for me, like that's what I'm so grateful for Roberto and everyone is that they, they, they are able to listen to me. And, and when I'm going through difficult stuff, uh, like, you know, able to, 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 to listen basically and talk to, so engaged, so communicative. And uh, yeah, I know how bad it is if you're feeling um, not great. To have no one to talk to, I think that's really the measure of of of, of what can push you over the edge or not. Um, knowing that there's someone there for you is the most important thing, and that's what we wanted to do with this. Is like, look, all of these people in our community have committed suicide. We didn't want to not talk about it. We want to talk about it and say, hey, if you're feeling like that, we're here to talk to. Come and talk to us. Zero Suicide Alliance is there to talk to. Talk to them. The NHS Trust is there. Um, like there's people who are there who, who care and, and you can talk to them and it makes all the difference. And, and we hope that really by giving uh, these role models, uh, like people who actually care rather than just sort of, you know, models that are really un inaccessible, but we can create a network and, and a culture that is um, honours and, 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 and tries to serve life, you know, and be there for it. <laughs> what can we do if we're not there for each other, right? Uh... Well, I mean, my own my own opinion is that glamour probably won't save the world. Uh, is that, you know, really, um, the, the just I think kindness is going to save the world and care. Um, that 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 unwillingness to do things that are harmful to others, whether it harms them intentionally or not, that is the acid mark of humanity. And um, indeed doing that to all other forms of life. As Albert Einstein said, our, our, our duty is to in expand our circle of compassion, to in include all forms of life. And as Leonardo da Vinci said, all men, one, such as he, will one day regard uh, uh, the killing of animals as we do today, the killing of a man. And, you know, we didn't used to think killing people was bad and we had slaves and... and uh, Slaves would be put in the, in the kiln to give a blood glaze on a, on a pot for, for the elite. And then slaves were held to, to make sure we had sugar in our tea. And it wasn't really talked about at the dinner table. It was, it was rather unglamorous too. And I think confronting uh, um, those ugly places and being able to be there for it, uh, rather unglamorous as it is, it is probably that humility is what will save the world, <laughs> to be living simply. And um, the word glamour is a magical term, which means to, by your beauty and power, make push people into submission, which I really think is the opposite of what will help the world. Really, by our humility and love, I think we must lift people up out of their pain. And um, so I, 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 in my job of making this touch the ground and, and connect with organisations on the ground, I've got a few creative things because I think the actual work is rather unglamorous. And that's why even though people want to be green and they want to save the planet and they want all this stuff, when it comes down to it, man, you're like mopping up vomit and, 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 uh, and looking after very, very sick people uh, or got your hands in the mud and you're, ship, you're moving uh, manure around or you're collecting human manure to, to make stuff out of and, and dealing with your own waste, making it, getting rid of the concept of waste, creating a, a whole cycle. Whereas we don't want to look at a lot of the excrescences of our, of our, of our existence. So I'd say a lot, of, a lot of the true sophistication, a lot of the ultimate, the ultimate wealth and, and the true wealth is the, is the degree to which we are able to look into those dark places and, and meet them. And that's like the most, like that's where the real, like the, the magic is. And, and if you can call that glamour, I think, you know, as a kind of uh, not a very strict form of terminology, but as it's commonly used as something that is desirable, it is far more desirable to live with that culture of compassion than it is to live in this disposable, uh, uh, um, not, not cradle to cradle, thinking about the whole life cycle of our actions. Does it hurt other beings or not? If, if, we're, able, if we're able to understand that is the much more desirable way to live, that it's, it, it's much healthier, we live longer, more beautifully and, uh, and more happily. Um, and with many less problems, much more wealthy, you know, like it's so much easier. It makes so much more sense. If we can do that, then I think, you know, we, we don't mind using the word glamour so much because that's the modern lexicon. But in reality, it's quite tough work. And it's a spiritual process that really involves us looking at ourselves and like, actually, does my footprint uh, uh, consume more than it produces? 
or or uh, uh, am I am I actually producing more than I consume? And I can and I you know I think that's a, that's quite a hard thing to do. It's not particularly glamorous. It's rather humiliating. But a little bit of humility is probably the most sophisticated and brilliant thing that there is because you will be caring and connected to what you're touched to. So um, what you're in touch with, the people around you and, and the other life forms around us, which we so need if we're going to have children and survive. Uh, uh, so, that, yeah, it's also really fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's my thoughts. I think it's because uh, I'd have a capacity for care and kindness. Uh, I think it, if you live in previous incarnations and you um, do your practice to understand the nature of things, and you see all beings desire to be free from suffering and happy, uh, you're more likely to incarnate in a fortunate birth, in so much as if this uh, mind, mind moment uh, is, arises out of a condition previously of one where you're... Uh, uh, that's a bad way of explaining it. So I was, had lots of people be kind to me and was given lots of love as a child. And... Uh, have been lucky enough to be shown cultures, human cultures, that live in honor of life. So native cultures, Buddhist cultures, Jain cultures, uh, 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 tribes from all around the world, from my master and my spiritual teachers that showed us how, how happy these people are. They're really living in harmonious ways. And once you've seen those cultures and that they work so well, if you haven't seen that, it's very difficult. If you only know uh, sort of a very competitive economic paradigm, um, uh, then it's very difficult, to, you know, you just think, well, this is the way things are, if you don't know these other cultures. But I was very lucky to have been educated about these things, and, and I sought them out really hard. And the more you learn about them, the more it's, it's just so much more sensible, it's so much easier, it's so much more profitable. Like, and you have to be quite strict to maintain the line, because not everyone knows about it. But, like, once you do know and you've seen, it kind of, like, it really helps to, like, maintain your, your faith, not blind faith, but your you know, you, you know it works. You plant a seed in the ground, it grows into a tree. Like if you look after it, you have loads of fruit. Uh, if you look after your kids, they'll be happy. They'll look after you. Like uh, love is the, is, is the eldest, mightiest and noblest of the gods, man. It's like the, the superpower that we can all cultivate. And then you start to get all these divine powers and stuff. So we're talking to the like, avatar people about that, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, you get the idea. It's like uh, if, you, if you have loving parents, it's easier. And kids who don't have loving parents and grow up in strife, they're much more likely to end up in jail and committing crimes and stuff. Uh, and so we can kind of predict that. So creating the right conditions is really important. And, and groups like what these are doing is uh, 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 what uh, the Avatar Alliance, the United Aliens Artist Foundation and Zero Suicide Alliance are trying to support groups that create the conditions where um, uh, uh, good things can happen. Uh, they arise dependent on conditions and not everyone's had those conditions. So we have to carefully calculate how do we create those conditions and, uh, and, and use scientific methodology to analyze what's working and what isn't. And I'm trying to support uh, to create those conditions. And uh, yeah, fortunately I had them. And, uh, and yeah, we keep, we keep trying to keep evolving it forwards. <laughs> so the United Aliens Artists Foundation has a, a new campaign, a, a, a new project, which is this million dollar dress or million pound dress. United Artists, uh, United Aliens Artists Foundation has a new, a, a new project, a new campaign, which is this million pound dress. Uh, uh, whereby they're making a, a dress for each continent uh, and uh, the dress will be sold for a million pounds to philanthropists who want to support all these different causes that are uh, related to the continent. So in Europe, Zero Suicide Alliance, is, that's the number one uh, way that uh, uh, young men under 50, are, 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 that's the, the most likely way they're going to die. So it's totally topical for us. And mental health in, in, in these affluent nations is, is the big topic. But when we're in South America, we'll be working with local artisanal uh, uh, communities, cultivating skills, and the dresses will embody all of the different works of these charities and themes, but 
be a genuinely valuable piece, support the arts, and get a lot of uh, uh, finance towards these, these, these causes and charities. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I'm working to try and uh, uh, help steer that to, 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 to the most relevant uh, charities, and we invite people to come forward to us with ideas for their region, uh, to contribute to the, the, this, this artistic process, and also to the, the causes that it's supporting, and also to, to get on board supporting it. So, um, uh, when I met Roberto, we were trying to do the Navi camp for James Cameron. And eventually they said, you know, this, the, the scope is a bit beyond us. That you're basically building villages, which is what our eco-village design curriculum is all for. Um, and uh, uh, now that's evolved into Green Camp. And uh, the United Aliens Artist Foundation has very graciously offers us some land in Ecuador where we could set up a, a, a campus and uh, uh, start to deliver the eco-village design curriculum and work with the local community to, to design this eco-village. So all the organs of a, uh, of a community that's producing more than it consumes, contributing back to biodiversity regeneration, contributing back to... Uh, um, you know, really healthy livelihoods that, 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 that have a triple bottom line. Um, uh, so that's very exciting. I'm working to do it here in the UK in the south of England as a, a kind of a, a, a off-grid Airbnb experience where you're in, in, in the green camp structures, uh, saltwater batteries and solar panels all embedded into this thing made out of like bioplastic from algae. And uh, they're being incredibly supportive because they know how hard it is to get a product off, off the ground. And... Um, uh, uh, yeah, we, we hope that these green campuses can, can, can be a regenerative investment uh, uh, for, uh, as, 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 as a, a d democratic investment model. Uh, so um, the communities that are, that are creating the value there are earning the, the, the ownership of it. As all social movements have shown, the democratization of, of, of power and ownership is, is the key to our, our, our livelihoods. Uh, 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 prospering. Aristotle marked that as the, the key difference between the left and the, and the right's uh, approach to the threat to power. <laughs> and, and I agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're, we're just, you know, doing what's been done for thousands of years, but just with some internet <laughs> and uh, even more knowledge and even bigger libraries. And we've got some like the largest library our research platform is Maya.com. It's just like the future of knowledge and, and research. And my, my ancestors published The Origin of the Species uh, for Charles, Charles Darwin. Uh, uh, and we're really interested in this uniformitarianism, this set of laws that explains all things. So the campus is, is, is a great sort of like academic, but also spiritual kind of way of understanding truth and how we can serve Mother Nature. And, and the people involved are just like the most fun artists and creative people. So I hope we'll see you there, Josh, snapping away and making movies. And I hope you'll stay part of the community and we can all keep spreading messages and raising funds for good causes. <laughs>